Sen Monani, Dumelang, Kuyanan, Molweni, and Sibuen Spear. Back to another video. So, what are we doing today? I want to discuss Sion Bougie. Okay. There are two clips I'm going to show you, and then we'll discuss what you think about it. Sure, sure, sure. Hazin. 75k. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a proper screenshot because. <laughs> 75k, Patrong Sion. Who busy? Too too fit. Let's say Montana long one k and or yeah, she's a hoe. Okay, and then, and then should oh, I okay. maybe offer something? Do you need hair? Something. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's prostitution, man. I mean, what do you mean she's relatable to who? Guys, motu sa pera choka ira neri rata na salavanya niya matuke eni lingam hara plastic ya five rand talo pula. Oh man, she really wants to be a two K, but I'm so sorry. You have kids, you live back at home, you're in your forties, and you get child for free. I'm so sorry. It's not my intention, and I'm so sad that at 21 years I am living the dream you've always wanted in high school. So it's beyond me. Also, I see women saying a lot about me being a bad example to youngsters or their kids that are looking up to me. I don't ask anyone to look up to me. I'm not willing to be a motivational speaker. I'm also in my 20s trying to live life. Where are you to motivate your kids? It's not my responsibility. Also, remember, I have a car to pay for. I have a lifestyle to maintain. I have apartments, honey. And if a guy is just going to make me filthy and just be here to satisfy his needs without satisfying mine, which is through money, then you're not for me. Duh. So what do you think about her saying that uh, she didn't ask people to be a role model and... I mean, if we're being honest, it's fair. Mm -hmm. Because, like, we are kind of at that point now where it's really difficult to police people in what they should or should not do. Like, I feel like we've kind of moved away from that kind of society. For me, I completely disagree. Mm -hmm. with what she's saying yeah there's a very famous saying and a lot of spider-man fans know this saying very well uncle ben said it yeah and he said with great, great power, power comes great responsibility remember with great power comes great responsibility so cm bougie is an influencer uh yeah ig influencer yeah and she's done very well for herself yeah she started this thing very young and she's coming up she's she's gaining more and more influence as as time goes yeah. on and she's becoming the next it girl i think after me charlie is going to be her yeah from what i'm seeing because there's no other it girl that's as uh popping right now yeah. Being bougie. yeah with that being said influence comes with responsibility yeah most celebrities do not ask to be role models. Yeah, Most of them don't. But they become that yes. by virtue of being celebrity. Yes. By virtue of having influence, you now have the responsibility mm. to act a certain way. Yep. But what if the person's image entirely is being truthful? Like, for instance, Wandi. Yes. Wandi is like that person, like, being honest is her whole image, is her claim to fame. So when you when you're doing these these fringe things like sex work and stuff, yes, you're making your money out of it, you're getting fame out of it, and all of that. Yeah. But and it's good to be honest about these yeah. things. Like you 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 being honest, you telling the public that no, this is how I make my money. Yes. This is how I go about doing things. But now the, I'm seeing more and more. There's like a sense of glorification here. Mm. More and more, I'm seeing a sense of glorification. Yes. You're seeing sex workers showing up more and more in media yep. and podcasts. And people like acting super excited about them, like to the point where like a younger person looking would actually look at it and be like, that's cool. Yes, that's the problem. That's like, the problem. I mean, we're making it so cool that it's okay for people to be giving blowjobs on the show. Like, Look, yes. you know what i mean like yes. it's to that extent now where and 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 a lot of women especially young ladies that uh want to become influencers will see this blueprint and will probably think this is the best or easiest way to go about yeah. being an influencer is to do sex work yeah which is not the right way to promote things and another thing is like what i hate though in all these instances is a lot of them are not really honest about 
the you know the consequences the consequences and what really what really goes into sex work Mm -hmm. and you'll have some that are completely delusional and say that they're not sex workers when everything that they are is literally Mm -hmm. you know sex work but the ones who who do admit who and who do own it now I, I admire that i really do admire i admire that they're owning the truth and they you know but i feel like in a lot of cases they are not so open and they're not so vocal about like the dangers my main problem with all of this displaying of sex work in yeah. the media mm-hmm. is that it's glorified people do not talk enough about the consequences of it yeah they do not talk enough about the, the sleepless nights that a person might have after having a bad sexual encounter, after, yeah. you know, all those like things. Like possibly being raped yes. or being kidnapped. Like people get they don't, kidnapped. They don't talk about people. you literally, not literally, but figuratively selling your yes. soul to get money. Because that's what you're doing. You're selling your soul to get this money. Yeah. They don't talk about none of that stuff. That's my mm. problem. And then when the kids look at all of this stuff, they do not see that and they do not understand. Yeah, yes. So they will go into these things Absolutely. without fully understanding these consequences. Hendo was saying that the only thing that they hear is the glitz and glam and wanting that. Yes. CM Bougie does have a responsibility. She's becoming influential. Yes. So she should be, uh, even though she's living this lifestyle yes. and she's open about it, she should be open about the, the consequences that come with that. Ooh. So to the point of uh, parenting and having your kids look up to yeah. the parents, uh unfortunately for the most part uh young kids are influenced by culture pop culture yep it's for for the most it part it goes beyond what parents do or do yes. not do for the child for the most the part parents, parents do try, yes. try to become good role models for their kids absolutely they try to show them the right way to live and all that stuff like that mm-hmm. but kids at a young age are more susceptible to what's cool absolutely. what's trending and what what will make them fit in with the rest of the absolutely group. and i'm sure she can also agree that her parents didn't raise her to do what she's doing yes. i think she would agree that they did all their efforts to raise her in a particular way and she influenced by her by her surroundings or whatever influenced her into doing what she did or got caught up in whatever she decided to get her caught up yes. in. yes so this argument about uh it's only the parents, parents. responsibility to Come make sure on. that the youth gets the right uh, upbringing and stuff like that Come on. it's incorrect it's incorrect it's the community the yes. entire community you're it part of that village. too they say it takes a village yes you are part of that too so you should also play your role in ensuring that kids are brought up in the right way absolutely you can yes you are you you are um giving out information there you you are being honest about how you make your living which is what which is something a lot of people are crying about about yeah um it girls before lying about how they make their money and stuff like that so you are one of the first or whatever of your generation to be so open about how you make your money absolutely but i'd also appreciate it if you uh go into more detail and express why or the consequences of the lifestyle that you live she does she does do say sometimes that uh it's not good i remember that one interview with Maggie. she did say that it's it's yeah she, in she that interview but like funny enough they always fluff up like that that's what i don't get yeah. like on one time they will talk like oh it's not good like yeah they'll speak about oh, and then they'll say it's not good and then next moment because i feel like they're getting bashed so much they feel like this need to sort of defend and 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 over you know it's just like we, we've seen this all the time even with porn stars that speak about they know they the profession is not glitz and glam and it's not nice and they know that they can't go in public sometimes freely and they, mm. there's a lot that goes with, in with it but because they get so bashed on social media they feel that they need to wear this layer of protection and and you know speak a big you know have a big talk and things like that and i feel like that is what what you know, it was pretty much happening. So yeah, Usain Bougie, she's not famous because she does sex work. Right? Yeah. She's not influential because she does sex work. Yeah. She's influential for other things. She's funny. Yeah. You know, she has a she has a big personality. Her yep. presence is quite strong. That's why she's she's influential. Yeah. It's not because of the sex work. The sex work yep. is just fueling her lifestyle. Yep. But I wish And something that she's just become honest about yes. on Okay, this is also how. Because when you look at Tim Bougie's content, it's entertaining. She's funny. Yeah. She knows how to 
make people laugh and all that stuff like that. Yep. And she's 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 a good person. She's charismatic. But mm. now it's gonna seem like it's the sex work that makes her influential. Yeah. When it's when it's really not the case. And I just want people to know that. And then young young girls, I hope that you'll find good role models. I hope that they are good role models out there because what the media is currently showing right now uh not that many women out here are good role models even nota asked on twitter he asked uh, the peoples uh if he if people could name three good female role models right now and yikes not that many people had an answer for him and mm. he even said that that's the whole point you, you can't you can't find that many good female role models right now the thing is we people think like to be a role model a person needs to be perfect nobody's perfect but you strive towards like you work towards you know what i mean like you mm. you you try like it's about trying and it's about like you understand what is wrong and you don't deliberately do it if you get what i mean and you just try and live your life towards being the better version of yourself or being the best version of yourself but then that the definition of that has become way too subjective these days like mm. you know it, it's kind of difficult and it's like well what do we say is a good role model then is it somebody who who who, who doesn't go out to parties or do we say it's somebody that who doesn't have multiple sex partners who doesn't like what do we what do we say and our youth is kindly sitting there now Mm. not knowing what what will it be like what is that yeah so in mac G's last podcast he was he was uh stating that uh it's very difficult to find a good relationship in Toba because relationships now are, tr- are very transactional of course and it's terrible yes and then now you have like these influencers perpetuating that absolutely making it making it known that hmm. they just sleep with people for money and, yeah and obviously and like if that's the you, culture you won't have my time if you don't have money like things yes. like that man. if that's the culture in in the in the in the metropolitan mm. all the women grown up in that metropolitan will most likely adopt and that have culture. that mindset yes. as well so if we want to change these things we need also at the top people are influencers to and understand that we all have a responsibility towards that yeah hey people don't care hey mm. and i think it's difficult trying to 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 strengthen your community or strengthen society if you have people that just don't care and playing their part and like now it's a thing we're seeing the young people we're seeing the young girls talking like that like People in high school, what do they know about like, oh, I don't want to date someone broke or oh, a guy must have money and whatever. Like, really? Yeah, and the kids do not understand that uh, perpetuating this is actually destroying their future, uh, their future ability to make stable relationships and build yep. families and all that. And that's the things that we don't communicate. People hide and now it's like, they don't speak these things like these people that you know they feel these sort of lifestyles and things like that they don't speak about the 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 rough ends of it like all you see is now people they will suffer from depression maybe or whatever you know due to those things but not saying anything not being vocal about you know what i know i was preaching this but yo Mm. this is where i'm at because of that Mm. you know and they won't say they won't say yeah you guys let us know what you think about this whole situation yep and i feel like these are conversations that we should start having you know for real especially if we really care about the future of our the kids that we are raising in this world don't forget to like subscribe and keep watching goodbye we'll check you guys on the next one